At the David Sheldrick Wildlife Foundation, elephant cows playfully mingle with their caretakers. These are all orphans, their mothers, victims of rampant poaching in East Africa. Illegal trade in ivory is fast decimating the African elephant population, with some estimates indicating that at least 20,000 to 30,000 elephants are killed by poachers every year. At the end of last year, African conservationists breathed a sigh of relief after China, the world's largest consumer of ivory, announced a complete ban in trade in ivory and ivory products. The lull, it seems, is over, according to a report by conservation group Save the Elephant. Ivory consumers inside China are smuggling through Mongla, a border town in Myanmar. The suppression of the legal market in China <coughs> is as ballooned in the neighboring countries and Chinese tourists come across and when they're in these neighboring countries they buy ivory and they smuggle it back into China. The prices of ivory have remained stable for raw wholesale ivory from about, about $770 to $800 a kilo since late 2015. The price has stayed stable. But the prices of actual items are, are going have gone up um, in the sense that the retailers are now making more money. The traders know that if they buy the ivory more cheaply, they can sell it for more. Next week, world leaders meet in London to discuss ways of combating illegal trade in wildlife. Conservationists want more action to protect the remaining herds of the African elephant. I'd like to see them to come together, to exchange information, to set up stronger programs to tackle this, this evil of uh, illegal trade in wildlife species. Conservationists also want the leaders to shine a spotlight on the Asian elephants which are under threat of extinction as poachers indiscriminately skin them for medicines and jewellery. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Kenya.